my friends, I'm Frankie. Welcome to Club Foodie. Every season comes with a bounty of fresh products. And of course, I like to take advantage of it. From late spring until fall, their variety is incredible. There's a nice dark purple fruit that I really like cooking with and it's Black Mission Figs. They're amazing for sweet and savory recipes and make great jam too. Mm. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my fig jam two ways. I couldn't resist sharing the regular one as well as my fig balsamic jam. They're both very easy to make and two delicious ways to use them for your recipes. Come on, take advantage of these little guys while they're in season. <laughs> so my friends, let's get cooking. We'll prep our figs the same for both jam recipes, the regular and the balsamic. After washing them, we'll remove the stems and discard them. Then cut the fruits in quarters. That's it. Done. <laughs> now let's start with the regular fig jam. In a medium pot over medium high heat, we'll add the prepared figs, granulated sugar, some water, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and lemon zest. We'll give a good stir and bring the mixture to a simmer. When it gets there, we'll reduce the heat to medium low and cook until the mixture thickens, about 25 to 30 minutes, stirring often. During that time, we'll start crushing them using either the tip of a wooden spoon or my latest favorite kitchen tool, a meat chopper. This will help to release the pectin faster. When the time is almost up, using an immersion blender, We'll process until the consistency is somewhat smooth, keeping some little chunks in it. We'll remove from the heat and fill up the sterilized jars, leaving half an inch headspace at the top. I won't go into details about the canning procedure, therefore click on the top right corner of your screen to find out more. We'll wipe the rims with a damp paper towel, apply the snap lids, and then the screw bands finger tight. Now let's go back to the stove. We'll place the jars in a boiling water bath and as soon as the water returns to a boil, we'll start the timer for 10 minutes. When the processing time is up, we'll transfer the jars to a wire rack away from any draft to cool off completely. Now let's make the fig balsamic jam. Just like the regular jam, We'll add the figs to a medium pot over medium high heat. To this, we'll add granulated sugar, dry red wine, freshly squeezed lemon juice, some aged balsamic vinegar, and cayenne pepper. We'll stir well and bring the mixture to a simmer, then reduce the heat to medium low. We'll cook for 20 minutes and like we did earlier, we'll break the pieces down using a meat chopper or the tip of a wooden spoon, whichever you prefer. When 20 minutes is up, we'll use an immersion blender and process. We'll now remove from the heat and repeat the same steps like we did with the regular jam. We'll process the same length of time as well, which is 10 minutes. After that, when the processing time is done, we'll transfer them to a wire rack to cool off. I usually let the jars sit there for a good 12 hours without touching them. And my friends, this is our fig jam two ways. They are delicious and easy recipes to enjoy this fruit. With one sweet and one savory jam, you have a choice of condiments to pick from. This is a tasty change from your everyday regular jam. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit cuffwoody.com 
for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends. Bon appétit. Thank <laughs> you.